In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called analyzing the electrolysis of molten salt. So for this problem, we're given the picture of a voltaic cell. This is not the same thing as a galvanic cell. And we're being told the content of the, of the voltaic cell. This one has molten magnesium chloride, MgCl2. Molten just means that it's been melted. So we have MgCl2 that is a liquid. This is an ionic compound, which means we don't actually have MgCl2 liquid. What we actually have are are the magnesium two plus ions and we have the chloride ions and they are melted so they are in the liquid state um, so just gonna I'm just gonna kind of cross this off right here so there's gonna be three questions that we have to answer about this voltaic cell the first question is asking us which electrode is the anode um, our trick red cat helps us remember that the reduction is taking place at the cathode, which means the anode is the site of the oxidation. In oxidation, um, our trick oil rig helps us remember that oxidation is where electrons are being lost. So if we look at our two electrodes, we can see that electrons are leaving B and going to A. So electrons are being lost at the anode um, B. So this is our site of oxidation, and then over here, this is our site of reduction. The second question wants us to write a balanced equation for the reaction that's taking place at electrode A. So we've decided electrode A is where the reduction is occurring. Reduction is the gain of electrons. So what we're going to have to do next is like work on these ions that have been given to us in, in this molten solution, and we've got to write some half reactions for those ions. For these two ions that we have, Mg2+, plus, which is a liquid, and then chloride, Cl-, minus, which is also a liquid, one of them is going to be oxidized, one of them is going to be reduced, and the way that we're going to decide which is which is just based on the charges that currently exist on these ions. So we've got our Mg2+, plus ion, that's a positively charged ion, and what we're going to be doing is adding electrons to that positively charged ion. We're taking it back to the natural state, the atomic state. We want to add as many electrons as necessary to completely get rid of the charge. So we want to go all the way back to an ion. So since this is a 2 plus, we're going to add two electrons. If this was something like Na plus, we would just be adding one electron and taking that back to pure sodium. It's going to stay in the liquid state. Um, there's some note here, oh, metals melt at temperatures lower than their salts. So that means that just means that this is also going to be a liquid. Uh, so that means that our other component, Cl minus, this is going to be our... Um, this is going to be our other reaction where we are losing electrons. So again, we want to be taking this back to its natural atomic state. Now, this is where things get a little bit tricky. Chlorine does not exist as Cl. Like, that's not its natural state. In, in fact, um, all of our 7A elements like uh, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, etc., they all like to exist in the diatomic state, F2, Cl2, Br2, etc., so chlorine, when it loses that extra electron, it's actually gonna become Cl2. Now we need to balance this equation right here. Um, we need two Cl minus ions to form the Cl2 compound, and that's gonna happen by the total loss of two electrons. This Cl2 component here is actually a gas, so I'm gonna squeeze that state in, and that's also gonna be true for all of these as well. They're all going to be gases. So of these two reactions, which one is taking place at electrode A? Electrode A is the site of reduction, and reduction is the gain of electrons. So that's this Mg2 plus liquid plus two electrons makes Mg liquid. And then a balanced equation for the overall reaction, that's going to be combining these two half reactions, Mg2 plus liquid plus two Cl minus liquid. Those electrons are going to cancel out. We're going to make Mg liquid and Cl2 gas.